Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. All right. All right, what you saw right there was my uh, 315 bench, sort of pause, kind of. Uh, not feeling too great today. I played football yesterday, Thanksgiving and all that. <laughs> had a little fun. But, um, okay, the premise of this video, arch. Now, as you can see right there, my arch is a little extreme. I'm pretty flexible, so I'm able to do that comfortably. And I just want to go over a couple of benefits and technique that you can improve on your bench. Now, first of all, an arch on the bench. I know a lot of people try to say it's cheating or it's like unfair, disadvantages, all this. It's, it's competition legal and many power lifters choose to use an arch and there still are some that don't use an arch. Now, you can't categorize as an arch being like better or worse, it's, it's just based on how you feel comfortable, if you're comfortable. Just like the sumo and conventional deadlift, in a way, I do recommend that people should use the arch in their normal bench pressing because it will improve your pure power in the press. But for any accessories like spoto presses or um, close grip bench press or anything that's like an accessory, try to refrain from arching too much because that'll take away from the the point of the workout, the, the, the hypertrophy that you get from those workouts. But an arch still can be useful. So I do recommend that people or you guys do arch but safely and make sure you work on your form before you put on any heavy weights because I, I don't want to see any injuries. Always keep your butt on the bed before anything. And yes, sometimes mine will come off. It does happen during uh, RP10 reps and things like that. But I do refrain from it as much as possible. And most of the time when it does come off, a lot of this weight is very submaximal and it's not, it's a max attempt. When it is a max attempt, that's when things become sketchy. And I have improved my form over the past two years. I remember my, I think it was a 345 bench press or 335 or something like that. My butt came off really ugly. That's something you don't want to do. The arch is beneficial more towards people that are trying to improve their power in the bench, mostly power lifters in that case. Bodybuilding, it isn't as beneficial, which I will go over in a minute, but the benefits of an arch would be you can increase leg drive, you have a shorter range of motion, Track your scapula, your, your shoulder blades, so that your shoulders aren't hanging off, so shoulder health. You're improving neural efficiency with a heavier weight. Although it's a shorter range of motion, you're still improving your bench through that. Now, the negatives with it would come to be there's less hypertrophy. So basically, someone trying to bodybuild shouldn't be doing extreme arches because it does take away from time under tension and you won't develop your chest and other muscles involved in that movement as much. Now a lot of people have this misconception that an arch is dangerous, it can hurt your back, this, all this, that, whatever. Um, because of how, if you perform the arch properly, keep your butt on the bench and everything's tight, just having an arch and retracting your scapula will make everything tighter and actually you'll have a more steady, solid uh, base to bench off of, which will lower the risk of injury. Now, if the butt does come off the bench, there is uh, chances of injuring your back due to sheer force. Um, but if your butt is planted on the bench, there is no sheer force. But for example, like in um, a squat or a deadlift, if you do arch your back at the top or, or if you're squatting and you're arching your back the whole way, that's when you get sheer force because you have the weight pressing down on your spine. In a bench, the weight isn't pressing down on your spine. But once you lift your butt off the bench, that's when you start to have a little sheer force because now you're pressing up and you're twisting your spine or you're bending your spine uh, under a heavy load. But if you don't do that, you're fine. So basically that's it guys. Um, if you have any other questions or any, anything you want to talk to me about, feel free to comment below, um, like, subscribe. Whatever you want, just uh, catch you next time.
There's a lot of circulation here. I can get really, really good ones. In it's hard. The circulation here is not good. See, like it's not there. Like, All right, Quinn, ready? In class, you stick <laughs> Have you ever heard of the vape bench? What? Have you ever heard of the vape bench? Oh, fuck. Shit. <laughs> it's so hard. Now? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, that second round made you strong. That made you strong. Yeah, that was strong. Yeah, 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 yeah. YouTube, YouTube.